pitching away, and that's the first foul of the game. It goes against the Invaders. We've played one minute of the first game of the season. Garcia, long outlet, threw it into the Invader bench. And Kenton will get the ball back. In the third period tonight, we will have our lucky Invader game uh, fan winner for this evening. New game that we're playing this year, the way it works, you send your cards in to Lucky Invaders fan, 1480 WHBC, P.O. Box 9917, Canton, Ohio, 44711. We will pick a selected quarter each game, and if we draw your uh, name out of there, then uh, you will have a chance to win uh, some prizes if the Invaders score a goal in that quarter. Tonight it's the third quarter. Just by having your card drawn, you get a handy coffee mug from the good folks at United Bank. And if the Invaders score a goal in your period, you will win two tickets to a future Invader home game and dinner for two tonight at the Red Bull Inn restaurant. Kia with a ball out front, and it's knocked away, and it'll go down in the Canton end. Condrich will chase it down there. Salguero clears by him, and Tomo comes up the left side of the floor for Canton. Feet off the boards for Tobin. Tobin had the ball knocked away by Bob Denunzio. Toby gets it back, double teamed by Denunzio and Les Girelli. Now Kia in to help out. They still fight for it along the boards. It squirts free to the middle of the floor, and Kia's going to get whistled for the push. Second foul on Canton. None on Toledo so far in the first half. 13-28 to play in quarter number one. And they'll dump it down in the uh, Canton defensive end, and it's taken away there by Kia. Kia to midfield, feeds to Magic Celestin. Celestin right side, right at the midfield stripe. And the Magic Man drops it back to Oscar Pisano. And Pisano over to Don Tobin. Tobin fires it in. It's blocked out front. And with the ball is Kaham, Michael Kaham for Toledo. Pisano couldn't get it at midfield. Now Toby clears it back to him away from Salguero on defense. And Oscar Pisano at the Invader red line across midfield. Long lead ball for Pikasinski. It hits the top of the board and bounces over the glass and out of play. No score. 12.44 to play in the first quarter. St. Thomas Aquinas and Wyndham tied up at 7-7 last we heard in the first quarter over at Marlington Stadium. Dragoslav Yaha, who played with Columbus last year and tried out briefly with the Invaders, did not make the team this year. Will kick it in in the goal area for Garcia. He will pick it up, and the long outlet right side at midfield goes right past McCargo. And you've got Powers and Tima fighting for it there. Powers, middle of the floor, centering pass, knocked away by Walt Schlotthauer. And it's uh, Rudy Pikasinski trying to get out of a double team. The ball squirts into the penalty area, and Schlotthauer's got it there for Canton. Toledo Pride, they'll back up on D. Trevor Dawkins with the ball right side at the red line for Canton. Ahead to Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski fights for the ball with Mark Araya. Knocked away to Yaha. Bad pass taken away by Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer spins around McCargo. Feet in the right, left side uh, at the red line for Art Kramer. Back it comes to Walter. Right side to Trevor Dawkins. Dawkins to Kramer. Kramer working back to the net, and the ball is deflected away from him by Salguero. And coming up the floor with it is McCargo for Toledo. 11.49 to play in the first half. No score. Tima beats Powers in the race for the corner. Ball knocked free, and a shot and a good save by Swanner. Off the shot by McCargo. Jamie going down low and coming up with the ball. They get it out to Kramer at midfield. Trevor Dawkins trying to work around one, and the double team, Araya, comes away with it for Toledo. Araya, left side of the red line in the Canton defensive end. Now on the point it comes to Mazer. Mazer shows off the boards, headed away by Tima. And back out on the right point to Mazer. Pikasinski on him. They'll dump it in the corner, and Tima will deflect the ball away from Powers and into the safe arms of Jamie Swanner. Outlet short on the right side to Walt Schlotthauer. Walter across the red line. Celestin off the bench for Canton. Pikasinski goes in. And here is uh, Trevor Dawkins, left side at midfield. Dawkins, working against McCargo, drops it back to Schlotthauer and over to Trevor. Dawkins, lead ball for Celestin, knocked away, and that'll be the first foul against Toledo. That one goes against Dave Mazur. One foul on Toledo, two against the Invaders. Remember, six results in a two-minute penalty in one period. We have 10.54 to play in the first quarter, and no score. Walt Schlotthauer will fire, and Garcia had some trouble with that. Didn't get the rebound. Kia knocked it away. He fights with Yaha. Kia knocked down. Yaha gets around Don Tobin, and Toledo comes with a four-on-two break. 
Yaha across the red line, feeds McCargo on the right side. The ball hit him in the heel. Tobin knocks it up against the boards. They fight for it there. McCargo comes away with it. And McCargo drops it back. And this is uh, Mark Christensen at the Kalamazoo red line. And now Com over to Denunzio. Denunzio on the corner, centering pass, knocked away by Swanner. And Pisano will have it in the corner, knocked in the goal area, and Jamie scoops it up there. Swanner outlet short on the right side to Oscar. Pisano ahead it comes to, uh, to Tobin. Tobin in the midfield circle. 10.02 to play in the first quarter. No score. The Invaders and the Toledo Pride. Oscar Pisano midfield. Don Tobin. Now on the left side it comes to Tomo Kondrich. Tom back at midfield. Edge of the midfield circle to Donnie Tobin. The long-haired lad from Liverpool. Sends it down into Celestin in the right corner. Celestin got his shot. If he can get it away, couldn't get the ball down. And it comes over to Pisano. Pisano around one. Uh, feed to Celestin in the corner. Looking for Oscar on the give and go. Ball deflected. Knocked into the corner. And they come back out on the point, and Oscar is there, trying to center, no one home. Kia comes out, bounces it off the boards. It's Kondrich on the left point. Tomo to Celestin, the magic man, with four pride players around him. They'll back it up at midfield, and he is fouled by Salguero, and the team fouls are even at two apiece. 9.23 to play in the first half. First quarter, I'm sorry. Opening game, I'll get some bugs out of the way as well. No score. We have had no penalties yet. Really no serious scoring threats. Left side against the boards. Kondrich for Tobin. Tobin back to the net. Magic. Celestin looking for a feed. Back at the red line. Middle of the floor is Kondrich trying to work around Scarelli. Does. Double team. Tomo still with the ball off the board. Celestin. Celestin shoots. No. Rebound. Knocked away by Christensen. Kia with a shot wide to the right side. And Kaham comes up with a rebound and dumps it into the keeper. Long lead. Up the right side of the floor for Denunzio. He can't control. It goes in the goal area. And Swanner quickly outlet on the right side. It comes to Kondrich. He leaves it for Artie Kramer. Kramer nursing that dislocated right elbow. And he's all right. Both teams change lines. Tim Tima for Canton with Trevor Dawkins. Trevor playing at the extra midfield spot where the injured Ken Lola would have been. And Rudy can't control. It goes up over the glass and out of play. And it'll be a goal kick for the Toledo Pride. Eight and a half minutes to play in the first quarter and we have no score here at the Civic Center. Invaders next home game is one week from tonight next Friday November 14th against the undefeated Tampa Bay Rowdies. They are 2-0 and and they sit atop the Southern Division of the AISA. Halftime guest tonight will be Jamie Swanner and again we remind you our lucky fan quarter is the third quarter tonight. Uh, the winner whose card we draw We'll get a uh, coffee mug from United Bank. Chance to win a couple of Invader tickets and dinner for two at the Red Bull Inn. Trevor Dawkins with the ball at midfield for the Invaders. They attack four on three. Trevor with a shot that's blocked by Mark Orion. And here comes the pride the other way. Two on two. Lead ball for Powers. He lost it off the front of his foot and Swanner controls. End to end action. Long lead for Art Kramer. Pikasinski's wide open. And he's taken off by the goalkeeper. Kramer will shoot. Rudy. Good play by Yaha in front of the net to block it away. Keeper was, <coughs> was out of position, and Yaha saved a goal. Goes over the glass and out of play, and the Invaders will kick it in. Tim Tiemann to put it in play, touchline right side with 7.47 to play in the first quarter. No score at the Civic Center. Now Tima backs away, and Dawkins puts it in. Back to Timo on the right point. Air ball. Timmy wanted a handball call on Salguero. Didn't get it. Coming up the floor with it is Steve McCargo. McCargo with a feed on the right side to Mazer. Mazer shot off the boards. Powers shot no. Centering pass. That hits somebody in the tail and bounces into the corner. Celestin heads it ahead. And it's knocked into the stage by Mark Araya. That'll be a goal kick for the Invaders. 7.27 to play in the first period. And both teams will use the timeout for an opportunity to change lines. This is the only game in the AISA tonight. Toledo will be at home tomorrow night against Memphis. Earlier this week on Wednesday night, Tampa Bay beat Louisville 3-1. Last night, Chicago over Fort Wayne 7-6. Invaders, the last team in the league to open their schedule, and that's what they're doing tonight. Don Tobin at midfield on the right side to Pisano. 
Oscar in front of the invader bench. Brand new field, new boards, new glass. It really looks beautiful down there. Guys spent a lot of time working yesterday and today getting this place ready for this game tonight, and they were working right up until a couple hours before game time. Don Tobin, left side at midfield. Back to Pisano, 6.56 to play in the first quarter. Pisano to the Magic Man. Celestin double teamed on the boards, but he gets it back to Pisano at the Canton red line. Oscar coming back up. Scarelli waits him at midfield, and now they feed in the left side to Tobin. Tobin, long ball, airborne, tried to get Celestin. Christensen knocked it away, and is taken back by Tobin, edge of the midfield circle. And Toby will back up into his own end now. Turns, faces the Toledo defensive end, and pushes it on the right side to Pisano. Pisano down in the corner for Kia. Kia back to the net against Kaham. Back to Tobin. Tobin back to Oscar in the corner. Toby turns back to the net, looking for a centering pass, and it's cut off by Scarelli. They drop it out. Oscar wanted to shoot, did not. Gets it back off the board. Shoot, Kia scores! And I think they disallowed it. I think Frank Fiend disallowed that goal. Let's see. No. The invader. No, that's uh, that's going to count. Kia will get the goal. Pisano the assist at uh, 850. His first goal of the year. Oscar Pisano with the assist and the Invaders lead one to nothing. I don't know what Frank Fiend signaled there, but it sure wasn't the signal for goal. He did that, and then he did another signal. But in any event, the goal counts. Kia gets it. Pisano the assist. The Invaders lead one to nothing. Time of the goal, 8.50. Toledo on the attack. Uh, Schlotthauer stepped in front of the ball and knocked it away, and Walter will get whistled for a dangerous play. He had the foot kind of high up in the air near the uh, chops of Araya. That's the third foul on Canton. Two on Toledo with 6.01 to play. In the first half, Yaha shot partially deflected. Centering pass by Powers. Nobody home. McCargo has it on the left side up against the boards. Dumps it for Powers in the corner. Powers working against Schlotthauer. Back to the net. Pikasinski to double team. Knocked it away. Shot in. No. And the rebound comes out to Trevor Dawkins, who sends it in for Jamie Swanner. Swanner controls outlet to Dawkins. Unmarked up the left side. Now Yaha picks him up. Dawkins moves right around him. Dawkins fires. Good save by Garcia out in front of the Toledo net. Five and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. Garcia getting hounded by Kramer, and the outlet comes to midfield to Mark Araya. Araya, ball knocked away by Dawkins and taken by Pikasinski. Rudy goes around Yaha like he was standing still, and they drop it back to Kramer. Kramer for Tima, and they both thought the other one was going to take the ball, and here comes Toledo the other way. McCargo, double team, Schlotthauer. McCargo shot in a heck of a save by Swanner. Swanner comes up with a honey of a save, and him and Tima exchange a high five. Rudy open at the other end. He shoots at Garcia with a save. And Schlotthauer had it knocked away, and coming the other way is Mazur. Ahead, and the ball knocked away from McCargo by Timmy Tima. Tima up the left side, end to end. Nobody home for Toledo on the left, right side. Kramer will fire. Centering pass for Pikasinski. No, Schlotthauer gets it back to Artie in the right corner. Kramer out front. He shoots, and Garcia with a save out front. Garcia sends it ahead to McCargo. And Toledo looking a little disorganized, and they want a timeout. And they'll take it with 4.26 to play in the first quarter. Canton won, and Toledo nothing. So there you are, preparing for a health care. Canton won, and Toledo nothing. Christensen drops the ball back in the goal area for the Toledo goalkeeper, Miguel Garcia. A long outlet comes up for Denunzio. Denunzio being hounded by Tobin. Kia the double team. Kia deflects. Toby controls off the boards. Now Kia against Garelli. They'll dump it down in the Toledo end, and it's controlled in the penalty area by the goalkeeper, Garcia. Outlet red line right side to Cajan. Cajan long lead. Looking for Salguero. Salguero has nobody to give it to. Now find Scarelli. Scarelli, left side in front of the penalty area. Shot deflected and a good save by Swanner off a point-blank shot from Bob Denunzio. And here comes Celestin on the break. Celestin with Kia. Celestin double-teamed, and he has to turn and get back to the net and drops it back to Tobin. Tobin outside the red line. Now midfield center circle to Pisano. 3.40 to play in the first quarter. 
Pisano across the red line, trying to get around Storelli. Off the boards to himself, working inside Storelli, and the foul will go against Les Storelli. Team fouls are even at three apiece. Not a real factor right now at three and a half minutes of play in the quarter. Each team has a couple to give up. Tobin will put it in play just outside the arc uh, in the corner, outside the curve, touch line right side. On the point, Pisano fires immediately, hit the top of the glass and went out of play. 3.29 in the period, and that'll be a goal kick for the Toledo Pride. 0-2 coming in. This is the opening game of the season for the Invaders. Milwaukee and Chicago 1-1 one one in the Northern Division. Canton playing their first game tonight. Toledo is 0-2. In the Southern Division, Tampa Bay leads at 2-0. Fort Wayne is 2-1. Louisville 1-1. One one. Memphis is 0-1. Garcia outlet off the boards, knocked away from Scarelli by Pisano. Kia clears it at midfield, but it's taken back by Christensen. Christensen trying to get it ahead to Salguero, and now it's Scarelli with it. Scarelli, invader red line, Salguero. Scarelli give and go, intercepted by Tobin, and he steers it into Jamie Swanner. Outlet short on the left side to Toby. Toby across the Canton red line. Toledo backs up in a low-pressure defense. Tobin ahead for Celestin, trying to get inside. Christensen does. Shot wide. Nobody home for the rebound. And it's cleared out to Salguero at midfield. End to end, Salguero. Condrich stepped on the ball and stopped it. Salguero sends it in the corner. And Pisano knocks it away from Michael Kaham. Pisano and Kaham fight for it there. Now Kaham will back up and let Oscar go. As they want him back in low pressure, they sure haven't been able to run with him. 2.33 to play in the first quarter. Oscar Pisano at midfield. Now back in the invader end in the arc to the keeper, Swanner. Back to Oscar. Red line on the right side. Trevor Dawkins is at midfield. Pisano and Schlotthauer on defense. And Rudy Pikasinski and Art Kramer are your forwards. Walt Schlotthauer. Left side at midfield. Back to Dawkins in the center circle. Trevor just outside the Toledo red line now. Back it up on the right side to Tim Tima. Tima looking for a feed, and they get it into the midfield circle to Dawkins to Kramer. Kramer trying to get around. Kaham does. He shoots just wide to the left side. The shot had a lot on it. It comes all the way out to midfield. Schlotthauer dumps it over to Dawkins again. Minute 50 in the quarter. And you've got Kramer. Kramer couldn't get to the ball. And coming the other way is Salguero for Toledo. Salguero, right side. The ball knocked away by Schlotthauer and taken by Kramer. Hardy. Left side at midfield for the Invaders. Pikasinski clears down the right side in the Toledo defensive end. And with the ball right side at midfield is Tim Team and now Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer at the Toledo red line. A minute 25 in the quarter. Dawkins in the midfield circle. Trevor coming up. Stops a couple of feet outside the red line. Looking for Kramer in the left corner. Kramer against Yaha. That could be a mismatch there. The double team, though. And the pass knocked away by Schlotthauer. And Team flags it down at midfield. Minute 10 to go. In the first period, Canton leads one to nothing. Tima, left side, it comes to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer to Kramer. Kramer against Yaha in the left corner, back to the net. Artie tried to dump it out, didn't get anything on the ball. Yaha clears it ahead. Salguero, midfield. Salguero to the Canton red line. Turn, shoots. Tima blocked it into the corner. Tima trying to turn and clear it away. 48 seconds. Gets it to Kramer at midfield, but it's knocked away there. Artie was stepping off into the bench. Knocked away by Mazur. And Scarelli in the corner. Scarelli tried to center. And Tima will get whistled for the push. That's the fourth foul against the Invaders. Scarelli wanted a two-minute call, but Lesh was uh, looking for an Academy Award, too. 38 seconds to play in the period. Four fouls on Canton, three on Toledo. They'll kick it in from the left corner. And Mazur will handle that chore for the Pride. Mazur, Scarelli shot no, and it's headed away by Schlotthauer. Magic Celestin had it knocked away at midfield. And Salguero with it in the left side, 30 seconds in the quarter. Celestin with a deflection, and Schlotthauer controls for Canton. Back in the goal area for Swanner, touches it ahead for Tim Tima. 22 seconds to play in the first quarter. Trevor Dawkins across the midfield line, 15 seconds in the quarter. Dawkins, left side at midfield to Schlotthauer, back to Trevor, 10 seconds in the period. Trevor ahead to Kia. Kia back to Trevor. Trevor clears up the right side, 6 seconds. Trevor's pass is knocked out of play by Araya with four seconds left to play in the quarter. And they'll have time for one quick shot. Canton won, Toledo nothing. In the waning moments of the first quarter. Tim Tima to put the ball in play for the Invaders. They might try to hit Magic or Kia up front. Let's see who's open. Nope, they'll let Schlotthauer fire, and he almost got that in. 
Garcia had all he could do to deflect that off the crossbar. That's the end of the first quarter with a score. The Canton Invaders won. The Toledo Pride, nothing. You can see the roll around. The Canton Invaders lead the Toledo Pride by a score of one to nothing. Again, the goal by Kia and the assist to Oscar Pisano at 8.50 of the first period. Art Kramer, Rudy Pikasinski, your forwards for Canton. Trevor Dawkins at midfield, Walt Schlothauer and Tim Timo on defense. For Toledo, you've got Mark Araya out there along with uh, Steve McCargo and uh, Ted Powers. And your defenders are Dragoslav Yaha, that's a great name, and Dave Mazur. Kick in Canton, just outside the Toledo red line, touch line left side. Schlothauer dumps it in for Kramer, and Pikasinski tries to steer it in, but Garcia will have none of that. He grabs it, pass for midfield. That almost ended up in the press box. Tim Tima deflected that ball, and it that was as close as we've ever come to getting the ball up here, and this is our third year of doing Invader games. We get a lot of them in Milwaukee. We're right down by the field there and with no glass. You put your cokes under the table in Milwaukee. Pass intercepted by Schlothauer and then knocked back by McCargo. It's Araya with it at midfield for Toledo. Now Mazer and back in the Toledo end, it is Dragoslav Yaha. Dragon ahead, bad pass off the boards taken by Schlothauer. Kramer tried to steer it, it was behind Rudy. Rudy came back for it, bounced it off the boards. It's taken away there by McCargo. Toledo on the attack, three on three. McCargo across his red line, over to Araya, left side, and uh, nobody there. They tried to get it to Yaha, and he just stood there and didn't go after the ball. Kramer tipped it to Swanner, back to Artie. Kramer at the red line. They'll leave it for Schlothauer. Schlothauer to Trevor Dawkins. They head on the right side to Kramer. Kramer tried to feed Schlothauer, knocked away by McCargo, and it bounces off the foot of Powers down in the invader end, taken there by Jamie Swanner. Ahead to the player coach, Trevor Dawkins, seeing more action tonight than he did at any time last year. I think Trevor really only played in one game last year. Dressed for two. Pass knocked away by Yaha, taken by Araya, taken back by Celeste, and ahead to Schlothauer. Here come the invaders. Schlothauer trying to get around Yaha. Does, but double teamed by McCargo. Off the board, Schlothauer will feed it back. It's behind Magic Celeste and taken away by Powers. Powers, the former Kalamazoo Kangaroo, working against Tim Tima and Tobin over to help out. Araya centering past Swanner, picks it away, and it's a good thing because McCargo was coming in up the right side looking for that ball. Celeste and ahead to Condrich. Now Kia. Kia back to the end of the left side in the Toledo end. Kia will come out to the red line with it in midfield to Oscar Pisano. 13-16 to play in the first half. Canton one, Toledo nothing. Kia with the ball. Midfield, back at the Canton red line to Pisano. Oscar, looking around, sends it airborne for Magic Celestin. Celestin off his chest, out of a double team. Got around one, got around two. He shoots, and he didn't get much on the shot. I think uh, Denunzio, or check that, it was uh, Mazur, got a piece of that from behind. And it was an easy save for Garcia. Garcia with the ball in his penalty area, being counted by Kia. Kia takes it away, hits it to the post, and Garcia grabs it again. Kia almost had a gem of a goal. Kaham with it for Toledo, back to Garcia. Dragoslav Yaha sends it off the boards for Scarelli. And coming up is Christensen. Christensen, former Kalamazoo player as well, in the corner. It goes, Christensen with a shot blocked by uh, Kondrich and Kia trying to get around Kaham at the other end. Kaham goes down, Kia goes down, tripping foul will go against Toledo. That's the first foul on either team in the second period. Pretty clean game, only six fouls, or rather seven fouls total in the first quarter. We've had no penalties yet. Tobin, red line, he fires wide, rebound goes behind Kia, and it's uh, Salguero with it for Toledo. The outlet midfield on the left, the right side is to Les Scarelli. Scarelli working against Pisano down the right side of the floor. Scarelli stops, feeds it out front to Denunzio. Denunzio, right side to Scarelli. Scarelli out of a double team. Pikasinski on him, Christensen. Salguero back to the net, uh, about 10 feet out in front of the arc. Now Salguero right side off the feed from Christensen. Salguero moving around Rudy. Shot blocked by Condrich. Tomo sends it long, headed back by Christensen. Salguero red line trying to get around Tobin. Toby picked him clean. Here come the invaders on the attack. Tobin, three on three now. Tobin with Kramer and Rudy. Toby will fire, and the ball knocked away. Again, a little bit of a deflection, and here comes Toledo on the attack. It is Denunzio up the right side. Feeds Kaham, shot, and picked away from the post by Jamie Swanner. 
Outlet short on the right side to Kondrich. Tomo. Red line right side to Kramer and now Artie up to the midfield area. On the left side to Tobin. 11.09 to play in the first half. 1-0 Invaders. Toledo doing a lot of backing up on D when they lose control of the ball in the Canton Inn. Playing low pressure. Pisano's pass is deflected out of play by Carlos Salguero. And the Trevor Dawkins line back on the field now. Tima and Schlotthauer on defense. Dawkins at midfield. Kramer and Pikasinski up front. Toledo will counter with Araya. Steve McCargo. And Ted Powers in the forward line. And uh, Dragoslav Yaha and Dave Mazur on defense. Ahead to Rudy. Ball knocked away by Mazur. Dawkins feeds. Kramer looking for it. He feeds in the middle. Blocked. Pikasinski couldn't get to the ball before it was covered up by Garcia. And Garcia with the outlet to uh, Mazur. And now it's uh, DeCargo, and it'll be a foul on Dawkins for tripping at midfield. One team foul on each club with 10.40 to play in the first half. Canton one and Toledo nothing. Mazur will put the ball in play for the Toledo Pride. Over to Araya. Araya in the Canton end working against Dawkins in the left corner. Back out in the midfield area to Mazur. Mazur sends it down, and Powers can't control, and Tima will just dump it in the goal area where Swanner controls. Long lead for Kramer, leaves it for Schlotthauer. Walter up the left side, feeds Kramer. Kramer had to wait on the ball. That gave Araya time to react and knock it away. They send the ball forward for Ted Powers. Powers lost control, and Tima's got it. Tima, double team, can't get it into Swanner. The pass is cut off. Trying to get outside, and he will draw the pushing foul against Powers. Second foul on Toledo. One on Canton in the second quarter. Invaders lead one to nothing. Here with 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio. Swanner with a long outlet for Pikasinski. Rudy against Yaha, trying to get inside. Does, shoots, and oh, just, just saved by Garcia. That came as close as you could have to going in. It was actually behind his back, and he grabbed it. And now you're going to have a holding call against Toledo. Schlotthauer puts it in play quickly. And Rudy got around his man. Here come the invaders two on one. Rudy with Kramer. Kramer will feed. Rudy and the pass was behind him. Schlotthauer gets it. He fires. There's a save by Garcia. He knocked it out of play. It'll be a corner kick for the invaders. 9.36 to play. In the first half, Lynn, do we have an update on the St. Thomas Wyndham game over at Marlington? Yes, we do, Bob. I was just about ready to jump in and give it to you. It is halftime. It is St. Thomas 7, Wyndham 7 at the half. Back to you, Bob. Thank you very much, Lynn. High school football tomorrow on WHBC AM, Groveport, Madison, and McKinley, Division I playoff game. And on 94 FM, West Branch will be at Hoover in a Division II playoff game. Airtime for both of those is 640. Both kickoff kickoffs are set for 7 o'clock. Corner kick from the left side for Don Tobin to Schlotthauer. Thunderfoot winds and fires, and the rebound came out behind Kia, and Kaham controls for Toledo. Kondrich trying to get around, and it's taken away by Denunzio. Denunzio sends it high. Salguero working back to the net in the right corner. Comes out on Pisano. Oscar deflects. Scarelli gets it in the corner. Kia on him. And Scarelli got away with a hold, but Kia gets the ball ahead to Celestin. Celestin trying to get around Christensen. He does. And he's got Kia clearing. Now Tobin. Tobin midfield. Kia back to the net. He's taken down by Christensen. That's going to be two minutes. Christensen will get a two-minute tripping call. And the time of the penalty will be 5.54. And the Invaders will go on the power play. First power play opportunity for either team as Mark Christensen goes off for the Toledo Pride. First penalty of the season. It favors the Invaders. They were the best power play team in the league last year. He took Kia down pretty good. And uh, Klaus DeBoer, I can see by looking at him down on the bench, he was not happy that he took that foul. Pretty flagrant, especially when you hack a guy that hard in the back of the legs, you're asking to draw a penalty. If there's anything soccer players do not like, it is getting kicked in the back of the legs. And Kia got nailed pretty hard right there. Tobin, Pisano fires, no. And the rebound comes back out to Tobin. A minute 54 in the penalty. Just under nine minutes to play in the first half. Canton with a man advantage. 
They already lead one to nothing. Tobin fires. It's blocked out front. Yaha blocked that with his face, and he's down in a little bit of pain. He's up and shakes a few cobwebs off. Fortunately for Toledo, the rebound ends up all the way out at midfield. Ken power play. Pekosinski and Kia down by the net. Tobin is the midfielder. Pisano and Schlothauer are on defense. There's a shot. Kia with a save. Pekosinski can't get it. Kia tries again, and Garcia punches it out. Schlothauer will dump it back at midfield. Toledo penalty killers. You've got Denunzio. Yaha. Kia, bicycle kick, no. And a dangerous play will be whistled against Kia. That's the th second foul on the Invaders. Denunzio, McCargo, Yaha, and uh, Mazur, the penalty killers for Toledo. Long outlet. Toledo trying to kill it off, and you'll have another dangerous play as Pisano came in with a foot high. Three fouls on each team now. A minute two left in the penalty. And Toledo will put it in play shorthanded from the Canton red line, touch line right side. McCargo. I check that Mazur will send it in. McCargo stepped away. And they try to clear. And Kia bounces it off the boards. Toby controls for the invaders over to Pisano. 51 seconds left in the power play. 7.54 now in the first half. Tobin will just fire it, and it hits off the boards. No. And Toledo will control the rebound, and McCargo sends it out to midfield. Swanner sends it back ahead for Tobin. 34 seconds left in the penalty. Tobin, middle of the floor, steps, fires, and it's knocked away out of play. And that will be a corner kick for Canton, and I think they'll make it from the right side. Seven minutes and 35 seconds to play in the first half. Canton on the power play. 29 seconds of man advantage left. The Invaders lead one to nothing. Kia will put the ball in play from the right corner. Box out front for Toledo to Pisano on the right point. And the middle of the floor at the red line to Tobin. Tobin, left side, Schlothauer winds and fires and scores! Play goal for Walt Schlotthauer. Don Tobin will get the assist. The time of the goal, 7.34. And the Invaders lead 2 to nothing. We started calling Walt Schlotthauer Thunderfoot last year, and you just saw why. He drilled it. Garcia didn't have a chance. Don Tobin picks up his first assist of the 1986-87 season. He led the league with 39 assists last year and was the league's most valuable player. Yeah. Textbook goal on the power play. The Invaders lead two to nothing. Toledo on the attack now, and you've got a whistle, and that will be the fifth, fourth foul on Canton. Condridge pushing from behind against Salguero. 7-18 to play. Now the Invaders have got to be a little bit careful. They can only give up one more foul in seven minutes and 18 seconds. They have a two-goal lead, though, as they score on the power play. And uh, timeout is taken, I think, by the officials this time. Yeah, they got a problem with the net. While they take time, we'll take a quick break. 7-18 to play in the first half. Invaders 2, Toledo nothing. And Wyndham tied at 7-7. Les Scarelli with the ball for Toledo. Dumps it down in the corner. And the first time we have seen Mark Jackson in the game for Toledo tonight. Tries to center to Salguero. Condrich knocked that away. Pisano heads it in the corner. Scarelli working back to the net against Tobin. Scarelli will back it out to the red line. And Mark Christensen with it there. Christensen to Michael Kaham and back in their own end now to the goalkeeper Garcia. Garcia long lead and Jackson trying to get around Pisano does up the left side but Kondrich picked him away and you got a foul coming up. And I think it's going to go against Tomo or is it against uh, Pisano against Oscar and that's the fifth foul on the invaders so they got to be careful the next one will put them short handed. Scarelli to put it in play for Toledo. Let's see if Toledo tries to draw that sixth foul. Invaders were very adept at that last year, especially Art Kramer. Centering ball knocked away by either Pisano or Swanner. They both got in front of it. It goes out of play. Toledo will kick it back in. Invaders two. Toledo nothing. Goals by Kia and Walt Schlothauer. Kia in the first quarter and Schlothauer a power play goal. 
here in the second period. Our contest quarter tonight is the third quarter. Kaham with a shot, knocked it in the cheap seats. Goal kick invaders, that ball still rattling around the girder work up there, and it finally does come down. A couple of years ago, we saw one of the high school players here in a tournament basketball game upset after they lost through the ball up there, and they didn't get it back until the next day. It lodged up there and stayed there. Goal kick for Canton with 6.33 to play in the first half. Oscar Pisano with it. Again, the invaders want to be wary of drawing that sixth foul. Tobin with the ball for the invaders up across the Canton red line. Toledo with low pressure. It's kind of a 2-2-1 in a zone. Condrich red line back to Kia. Give and go. Tomo shot blocked by Jackson in the corner. And it's knocked out and touched last by Toledo. That'll be a corner kick for the invaders with 6.08 to play. 2-0 Canton. Invaders next home game one week from tonight. Friday, November 14th, 8.05 kickoff time against the Tampa Bay Rowdies. We hit the air at 7.55 for that one. Get your cards in for our in Lucky Invaders fan contest. We'll have another drawing in that game. Our quarter tonight, prize quarter tonight, is the third period, and we'll have the drawing before that. There's a shot, and Swannard bounced it away. Christensen got away with a trip on Celestin. Got away with another one. Magic dumps it through, and a shot no. And they come out with it for Tobin. Tobin, invaders on the attack in the corner. Toby fires, and Garcia with another save. Into the corner. It is Kia. Drops it back, and Condridge can't control, but Tobin does at midfield. High off his foot. Salguero just went flying by. Tobin sends it ahead. Toby got pushed. No call. And coming up with it, uh, back to Tobin, over to Condridge. Tomo. Out front, fires. Garcia controls the rebound before Kia could get there. Outlet at the red line to Les Schirelli. 5.26 to play in the first half. Schirelli working against Trevor Dawkins. Now they dump it over to Kaham. Kaham down in the corner for Jackson. Jackson to Christensen. Bad pass off the chest of Trevor Dawkins. Trevor controls at his feet. Ahead midfield, right side to, to uh, Celestin. Celestin double team, got away, tripped by Schirelli. And Magic may have been doing a little bit of acting there. And they come the other way. It is Christensen with it. 4.55 left in the first half. Christensen, red line. Schirelli, midfield on the right side. They back it up to uh, McCargo. And Yaha feeds it in the goal area. Garcia, long outlet midfield. And Kondrich knocked the ball away from Powers. Powers drops it back to Yaha. And Schirelli with it at the edge of the center circle. Schirelli playing a double shift, sends it ahead to Powers. Powers fires, Swanner with a save. Going down to his knees and scooping that one up. Outlet short on the left side to Trevor Dawkins. 4.23 in the first half. And the Invaders will take time with 4.18 to play. We will take a break. 4.17 now as the clock winds down one in the first half. Canton two and Toledo nothing. Post office box 9917, Canton, Ohio, 44711. Our contest quarter tonight is the third quarter. Whoever's card is drawn will automatically win a coffee mug from United Bank and if the invaders score a goal in that period you win two tickets to a future home game and dinner for two at the Red Bull Inn. Jamie Swanner coming out of the invader net out to the red line with the ball and again they can do that with a low pressure. Swanner sends it long for Kramer off the boards he can't get it Yaha in the corner. Yaha dribbles bicycle kick slick move by Dragoslav Yaha but I think they called him for a dangerous play and they're I don't understand that well, they did. Anyway, Kramer tries to put it in play. And they'll clear it out to Tima. Tima will chase it down at midfield. Team fouls are even at five apiece now. So the next foul by either team will put somebody in the penalty box. Schlothauer sends it long and scores! Art Kramer! Art Kramer headed it in. Schlothauer shot it from midfield. Artie headed it in past Garcia. The Invaders lead three to nothing. of the goal, 11-19. Kramer from Schlotthauer. 
That one will make the highlight film next year. That was almost three lines. Schlotthauer was just at midfield over his own red line. He just fired it long in that end, and Kramer dove out in front of the net and headed it past Garcia, who was obviously waiting to catch the long ball. And Artie headed it away, and the Invaders lead three to nothing. Here comes Toledo on the attack. Uh, shot through, shot no, and Toledo scores. Salguero will get the goal, and the assist will go to Bob Denunzio. Carlos Salguero. Fires it in from the right side, and Toledo gets on the board quickly after the third Invader goal. Time of that goal will be 11.31, so it took him just 12 seconds. Salguero, for him, that is his uh, second goal of the season. And for Denunzio, his first assist. And Toledo on the board, but it's 3-1 Canton with 3.28 to play. It came right down off the kickoff, and Denunzio gave him a nice feed, and Salguero was open on the right corner and put it in. Kramer trying to get around Kaham in the corner, does, but lost the ball. Kaham takes him down, and that's going to be the sixth foul. And the Invaders will go on the power play. Their second power play opportunity of the night. This one comes at 11.40 of the second quarter. Now, the Invaders have to watch it because if they commit a foul during this, it negates the power play. They would have a guy in. This will be a bench penalty for six fouls against Toledo. Canton scored on their only other power play opportunity of the night. And Les Garelli will serve the bench penalty for Toledo. Kaham was lucky there. He was very close to having that happen inside the box. About another foot or two, and that would have been inside the box, which would be called for a penalty kick. Kia will put the ball in play. Look at that, where that is, just a couple of feet outside. They actually moved that out a little further than where the foul took place. Kia will put the ball in play. That may be better for Canton, though. They got a better angle for the pass, I think. 3.20 to play in the first half. Canton 3, Toledo 1. Good crowd at the Civic Center tonight. I would say we probably got 4,000. You got the seats in the stage just about full. Tobin will fire and score! Rudy Pekosinski with a deflection. The Invaders lead 4-1. to one. Time of that goal will be 11-51. And I believe, I believe Pekosinski will get the goal. Pekosinski deflected that in, I believe, off the Don Tobin original shot. They announced Tobin, but I'm pretty sure Rudy deflected that ball in. Let's see, is that what they do? Yeah, they do give the goal to Rudy. That's what I thought. Rudy Pekosinski, his first goal of the year. Don Tobin picks up his second assist of the night, and the Invaders lead 4-1. to 3.09 to play in the first half. Second power play goal. They're two for two on power plays. Christensen shot, deflected out front. Salguero got it back. Scarelli shoots and scores. And Toledo comes right back again. Scarelli will get the goal. Salguero the assist. And that makes it four to two. The time of the goal will be 12.03. For Scarelli, his second goal of the year. For Salguero, his second assist. 12.03. That one only took him 12 seconds. The last one took him 12 seconds after Canton scored. You don't let Toledo kick the ball off, they wouldn't have scored. 2.54 to play in the first half. Canton 4 and Toledo 2. So both teams having some defensive lapses here in the second quarter. It was one nothing after one. The Invaders have outscored him three to two in this period. Here comes Christensen up the right side of the field with the ball for uh, Toledo. Christensen drops it back on the point for Jackson. Salguero back to the net, knocked away by Dawkins. And Rudy Pikasinski has it for Canton. Pikasinski dumps it over. Invaders got to watch it. They still have the five fouls. Here comes Schlotthauer up the left side. He winds, he fires just wide to the right side. 
Rebound comes out. Tima dumps it in for Pikasinski. Rudy back to the net. Off the boards for Timmy Tima. Tima tried to get it across for Schlotthauer, and it was knocked away by Salguero. Here comes Jackson up the floor for Toledo. Bad pass knocked away by Dawkins. And Schlotthauer controls for Canton. Back to Trevor. Two minutes to play in the first half. Dawkins long lead for Pikasinski. Rudy shot no. Kaham clears before Kramer could come in after the rebound. And Scarelli has it at the red line for Toledo. Scarelli left side up to cross midfield across the Canton red line. Dawkins goes down with a block and it's knocked away. And you're going to have a dangerous play on Scarelli. And Scarelli thinks that the sixth foul has been called on Canton. Maybe it has. Yeah, it is. Okay, it went the other way. That's not what he signaled. And now the invaders will go shorthanded. Time of the penalty, 13-17. Second period, invaders get the six-foul bench penalty. So Toledo will have a power play for the remainder of this half, and if they don't score for the first 17 seconds of the second half... Invaders, we told you, were the best power play team in the league last year. They were also the best penalty killers. Denzel Antonio, Steve Frick, Art Kramer, and Tim Team are the penalty killers for Canton. Power play team for Toledo is Powers, Scarelli, Araya, Kaham, and Salguero. There's a shot, and Swanner deflects it in the corner. Antonio controls for Canton. Denzel is fouled by Salguero. And the Invaders will control. A minute 24 to play in the period. And the penalty will last the rest of this quarter and part of the second, part of the third. Antonio sends it ahead for Steve Frick. Frick double teamed in the Toledo end by Kaham and uh, Al Araya. And <laughs> they almost got a bad pass to the keeper. Garcia had to go down on the floor to get that. Bad pass taken away. And you've got a whistle away from the ball. And I think you're going to have a delayed call on a handball. It'll be a handball against Toledo. And Canton will have a direct kick from just outside the penalty area. 1-10 to play in the first half. Toledo on the power play. Kramer fires just wide. Antonio after the rebound. Antonio gets around Araya. He shoots. And Garcia did a job just to hang on to that. They give Kramer a dangerous play call for trying to kick it out of Garcia's hands. And Toledo will come up with a minute left to play in the half. Pride on the power play. Canton for Toledo two. Lescarelli, red line, left side, in the corner. They clear it across. It's too high for Salguero. Kaham with a shot. No, headed away by Tima. Araya sends it back for Kaham. Antonio knocks it away. Tima ahead to Denzel. Antonio across the red line. Working around one man, around two. Ball off the boards. Kaham knocks it in his own end. 34 seconds left in the half. Kaham drops it back in the goal area for Garcia. Garcia will pick it up and send it out for uh, Araya. Mark Araya, midfield. And the ball taken away by Antonio again. 17 seconds. They're looking for a shorthanded goal now. Antonio will feed Frick 12 seconds, and Frick will back it up to Tima. 10 seconds in the half. Tima, lead ball, knocked away by Kaham. Six seconds. And in the corner, three seconds. Two, one, that's the end of the first half. With a score, the Canton Invaders four and the Toledo Pride two. We'll be back in a minute. You can pick up tonight's Odyssey magazine. It's now available as a novelty counter in the East Concourse of the Civic Center. WHBC, Post Office Box 9917, Canton, Ohio, 44711. Again, our winner tonight is Brian Holcomb from Eastland Street Northwest in Massillon. Invaders lead 4-2. Now, for the first 17 seconds of this period, it will be Toledo with a power play. And then the Invaders will go back to uh, even strength. Canton leads 4-2. to two. 
Kia, Schlotthauer, Kramer, and Rudy Pikasinski have scored for the Invaders. Salguero and Schirelli have scored for Toledo. Cajan with a ball for the Pride. And in the midfield circle, it's Christensen. Christensen dumps it over on the left side to Denunzio. Denunzio tries to feed, and Antonio knocked it away. Three seconds in the penalty. Kaham with a shot wide to the corner, and the penalty is over. Rudy comes out of the box, back at full strength. Kaham will fire, and he knocked it into the stage. Goal kick Canton, and they have killed off the penalty. So the Invaders hold on to that two-goal margin at 4-2. to two. And they kill off the penalty, so they are perfect on special teams. They're two for two on power play and one for one in penalty killing on the night so far. We've played 25 seconds of the second half. The Invaders lead by a score of four to two. Goal kick for Canton. Swanner to put the ball in play. Short outlet on the left side to Condrich. Toledo in the low pressure. They're back outside the red line. Condrich, right side to Pisano at the Canton red line. Oscar moving right to left. Scarelli watching him but keeping his distance. Now Oscar up across the red line. Sends it ahead right side at the Canton red line for Kia. Kaham knocks it away from behind. Scarelli with it for Toledo. Les Scarelli up the left side and the Canton end shot wide to the left. Swanner punches it out. Kaham knocks it away from Kondrich. And you've got a whistle and a foul. First one of the half will go against Toledo. Kaham is whistled. Now they, they called it uh, on Canton. They whistled the push. There's a shot in the middle but he pointed that way indicating Canton should get the ball, but the foul goes against the Invaders. They're first. Kaham sends it long, and you've got a holding call, and this one will go against Canton as well. So quickly, the Invaders with two fouls, and you've got to watch that. 13.59 to play in the third period. Canton four, Toledo two. And the Pride will put the ball in play at midfield. Scarelli with it. Left side at midfield, Scarelli to Salguero. His pass back for Scarelli on the give and go was knocked away by Condrich. Christensen sends it back in the Toledo end for the goalkeeper Garcia. Miguel Garcia knocks it out and Salguero knocked it over the glass and out of play into section 13. That almost hit Mike Dorn sitting down there in the second row. And he will, the invaders will put it in play from the touchline right side just outside the Toledo red line. 13.42 to play in the third quarter. The Invaders lead 4-2. And our lucky Invader fan contest winner tonight is Brian Holcomb of Massillon. If the Invaders score in this period, you get the uh, two tickets and the two dinners. In the corner, Kramer, ball knocked away by Yaha, clears it ahead to Jackson, knocked away by Dawkins. Dawkins around one, feeds for Rudy. Rudy trying to get it to Trevor, knocked right back to Rudy. Rudy shot, blocked by Mazur. Tr Dawkins shot blocked by Mazur. And it's cleared out, but Tima keeps it in. Tima with a shot wide to the left side. Schlotthauer with a follow wide to the right. And um, Ira Araya will win the race with Pikasinski into the side. Jackson and Dawkins fight for it along the boards. It's knocked back out. Araya had it knocked away by Tima and controlled by Mazur at midfield. Mazur pass around Rudy for McCargo. And now Yaha at midfield. And he dumps it in the Canton end, but Tima's waiting there for the ball. Tima looking to get it into Swanner. Can't do it. The Pride cuts it off. Timmy double team. Ball knocked away. Dawkins sliding play to knock it away. Araya got it back. Tima fronts him, and Araya dumps it back to Mazur. Mazur had the ball deflected by Rudy, and they'll get a push coming on Mazur as he pushed Rudy away after Pikasinski cleared. First foul on Toledo. Invaders have two in the period, 13, 12 rather, 12.36 to play in the third quarter. Tima ahead for Artie Kramer. Kramer around Yaha, around him again. He shoots in. Pikasinski had it knocked away. It hit Mazur in the back who got spun around on the play, and it's cleared out. Tima knocks it away back to Kramer. Kramer looking for Rudy, and it's knocked away. Kramer got it back again. It should be a handball. That should be a penalty kick. Yaha will get whistled for the handball in the goal area. That'll be a two-minute penalty. Should be a penalty kick coming up for Canton. And if they score, Mr. Holcomb, you would win uh, your prize on the penalty kick. Let's see if that's what they give him. I, I, that has to be a two-minute handball in the penalty area. There's no other way you can interpret that. In any event, the time of the penalty against Toledo is 2.43. 
of the third quarter. Yaha for the handball. And that will be a penalty kick for Don Tobin, and he is perfect on penalty kicks in his career. If they if they score, Yaha comes out of the box. If they don't score, they have a two-minute power play. Don Tobin will attempt the penalty kick. Christensen asking a question of uh, our referee. Referees tonight are Joe Rudy and Frank Fien. And the fans start the chant of Toby, Toby. Garcia stands in goal. He's ready. Tobin's ready. Tobin, the approach. He shoots. He scores. Don Tobin's penalty kick goal. At 2.43, puts the Invaders up 5-2 and makes a winner out of our contestant, Brian Holcomb. You win two tickets to a future Invaders game, Brian. Dinner for two at the Red Bull Inn and the United Bank Coffee Mug. Congratulations, our first contestant is a winner. Well, again, we will do this each and every Invader broadcast. And the address to send your cards is Lucky Invaders Fan, 1480 WHBC, P.O. Box 9917, Canton, Ohio, 44711. Toledo off the kickoff, dump it in the Invader end, and uh, you've got a whistle and a foul coming up against the Pride, pushing from behind. We'll go against uh, Christensen, as he got a pretty good chunk of uh, Magic Celestin. Second foul on Toledo, and the Invaders also... Yeah, the Invaders only have one, they tell us. Here comes Tobin. Tobin sends it airborne for Celestin. Celestin trying to get around Christensen in the corner. He sends it up in the air. It's punched out by Garcia and then headed away by Salguero. And they got Scarelli coming up the right side of the floor. Scarelli in the corner, working against Tobin in the Canton defensive end. Now Kia over the double team. They knock it away, and Kia controls for the Invaders ahead to the Magic Man. Celestin around one, stops off the boards. Ball for Kia, knocked away by Kaham, and Christensen has it for Toledo. Coming up the left side of the floor for the Pride is Denunzio. Denunzio, left point area, back in the midfield circle to Kaham. Michael Kaham, right side, Salguero couldn't hold it off the boards. Here comes uh, Celestin the other way for Canton. Celestin dishes back of the right side to Oscar Pisano. Canton five, Toledo two. Condridge, midfield circle, sends it long in the right corner. Kaham will get it there, trying to get away from Kia and clears it for Salguero. Salguero against the right sideboards, lead ball, and they, Pisano went for the interception, didn't get it. Scarelli, beautiful play by Swanner. Coming out of the net, sliding tackle, knocks it away from Scarelli. Ahead to Kia. Kia in the corner, trying to get around Kaham. Back to the net, feeds it out on the point to Magic Celestin. Jamie Swanner did his job in goal, coming out to cut off the breakaway. Beautiful play to pick the ball away from Les Scarelli. 10.36 to play in the third quarter. Canton 5, Toledo 2, Tobin midfield circle. Drop it back in the penalty area for Swanner. Jamie with the ball on the floor. Scarelli comes up on him. He sends it ahead for Trevor Dawkins midfield circle. Dump it on the left side to Kondrich. Tomo now right side feed to Oscar. Pisano, nobody marking him. He shoots, he scores! I think that hit Salguero and went in, but Pisano will get the goal for the Invaders, and they lead 6-2. of the goal. 4.43. Oscar Pisano. Puts it in. And Dawkins will get the assist. Condridge gets the assist. Okay. Tom Condridge picks up his first assist of the year. Oscar Pisano gets his first goal. And the Invaders lead 6-2. to two. Here comes Art Kramer trying to get around. Yaha does. Kramer centering ball. Rudy with a shot blocked by Garcia. Yaha trying to clear. Yaha up the right side of the floor. Invaders 6, Toledo 2. Yaha on Tima. Drop it in the corner for Jackson. Shot no. Rebound knocked away. Schlothauer got a piece of it. Rudy heads it ahead for Kramer. And Kramer controls right side at midfield. Now back off the sideboards for Trevor Dawkins. 
Dawkins at the Canton Red Line, the player coach, playing midfield in, replace, in place of the injured Ken Lola. Dawkins dishes back to Schlotthauer ahead in the midfield circle to the Magic Man. Celestin blew around Yaha. Celestin around the second guy, but the sliding play by Mazur knocks the ball away. Coming up the floor is McCargo. McCargo for Toledo at the red line. He's got Mazur to his right, feeds him on the point. Tima out on him defensively. Tima chasing him back in the midfield. Yaha with it now, and it's Araya left side. Ahead it comes. Bad pass taken away by Magic. Celestin, midfield, approaching the Toledo red line. He'll pass for Tima. Tima around one. Got Schlotthauer open on the right point. Walter working on Mazur now. Couple of steps in, and they'll back it up. Walter. Feeds left side to Tima and back in the Canton end to Jamie Swanner. 8.52 to play in the third quarter. Canton 6, Toledo 2. Invaders have scored twice in this half. Tobin with a penalty kick and Pisano with a howitzer shot. And you've got a ball taken away by Mazur from Celestin. Feeds Jackson. Shot. Good save by Swanner. Kick save and a beauty to knock it out of play. 8.32 to play in the third quarter. Toledo will change lines. Canton will do likewise. 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio. Lynn McDowell, anything going on in the St. Thomas Aquinas game? Uh, you bet, Bob. Right now, it's, I believe, in the fourth quarter. It is St. Thomas 14, Wyndham 7. 14 to 7, the St. Thomas Knights on top. Okay, the Knights lead at 14 to 7 in the fourth period at Marlington. A couple of big high school games tomorrow. Hoover and McKinley in action. Kaham tries to send it in. Scarelli working against Tobin down in the corner. Key of the double team knocked it away. Loose out front. He'll pass. Picked away by Pisano. He steers it into Swanner. Long lead for Kia. Kia trying to split two defenders, but Garcia comes out of the net and knocks it away and dumps it back into the canton end. Condridge tips it in, and Swanner controls again. 8-10 to play third period. Canton 6, Toledo 2. Tomo Condridge outside the penalty area. Dumps it on the left side up against the boards at the red line to Don Tobin. Tobin for Magic Celestin, middle of the floor. Magic for Kia, back to his net at the Canton red line. And here is Magic Celestin. Celestin into the Toledo defensive end. Left corner for Tobin, back to Magic on the point. And now midfield to Pisano. Oscar being hounded by Salguero, dishes back to... Swanner, Swanner leads it ahead. It's knocked away. Scarelli controls. And you got a handball whistled against Les Scarelli. That's the third foul against Toledo. One on Canton in the period. 7.32 to play. Invaders six, pride two. Tobin, red line, now back in the center circle to Condrich. Pass deflected by Salguero and taken by Scarelli. Scarelli ahead to Christensen. Christensen up the right side. Now down in the corner for Salguero. Salguero, ball taken away by Condrich. Here come the invaders two on one. Condrich with Kramer. Kaham back. Condrich and Kaham slides and blocks the shot. And it will go out of play. Canton will kick it in with 7-10 left in the quarter. They've just announced that St. Thomas score to the crowd here. That gets a nice round of applause. Line changes for both squads. Trevor Dawkins and Don Tobin discussing some of the finer arts of playing midfield out here in the middle of the floor. Boy, there's a wealth of experience in the two midfielders, Dawkins and Tobin. Both been around a lot, a couple of Brits, and they know how to play the game. Trevor Dawkins, 40 years old, and he... Uh, he's uh, doing a good job, Trevor is tonight. Tim Tima with the ball at midfield. And they try to dump it in to Pikasinski. Pikasinski back to Tima. Tima shoots and a save, and they lost the ball, and Garcia just did get the rebound as Rudy couldn't quite find the handle. And they get it ahead, and Schlotthauer tried to knock it away and does to Kramer. Kramer had it picked away on a nifty defensive play that time by McCargo for Toledo. 6.37 to play in the game, in the third period, I'm sorry. 6-2 Canton, Yaha with the ball at midfield. Former Columbus Capital, Yaha dumps it down to Jackson. Jackson shot, punched away by Swanner. And Tima controls the rebound ahead of the red line to Schlotthauer. Walter takes it up the left side at midfield, moving on Yaha. Yaha tries to feed Kramer, and Araya knocked it away into the waiting arms of goalkeeper Garcia. Long lead ball, headed by Tima into the penalty area where Swanner takes it. Outlet short on the right side to Trevor Dawkins. Dawkins. Drops it back. Dawkins is actually playing a little bit of defense, and Schlotthauer is playing a little bit of midfield, too. 
Walter, I think, may be playing more midfield than Trevor is right now. Dawkins in his own end. Back it comes to Swanner. Swanner lead ball for Steve Frick. Frick into the game at the red line. Frick trying to move on Mazur. Tries to heal it back to Tima. And now gets around both of them. Here comes Fricky. Fricky fires wide to the right side. Nifty footwork by Steve Frick. Araya and Schlothauer fight for it, and Walter wins that. Drops it back to Dawkins at midfield, but back at the Canton red line. 5.29 left in the quarter. Swanner outside the arc. Toledo still in low pressure. I think the invaders may want to make him come out of that a little. You're down by four. You can't do that forever. Here is Tima. Tima turns, looking for a feed. Pikasinski got the shot away, didn't get all of it, and Garcia scoops it up wide left of the net. Mazur drops it back in the goal area again. Garcia sends it long, and nobody there waiting for it is Dawkins. He lets it go for Swanner. Toledo trying a lot of long passes and low percentage passes, and they're not connecting on them. Lead ball for an open Kia up the right side. Kia tries to center. It was deflected, and Garcia controls again. Outlet for Scarelli. Scarelli, red line right side. Scarelli working against Steve Frick. Well, there's an interesting matchup. 4.45 to play in the third quarter. Now it's Kaham, Michael Kaham, right side at midfield. Ahead it comes to Denunzio. Denunzio inside the Canton red line, working on Tobin. Feeds left side, Scarelli shot wide. Tobin got the rebound in the corner to Kia. Kia around Scarelli, ahead to Frick. Frick off the boards. The Pride will chase it down at midfield, drop it back in their own end, and Garcia sends it immediately out to Kaham. Kaham ahead to Denunzio. Denunzio looking for Scarelli. The pass is too far. Swanner out of his net, sends it around Scarelli. It got around Denunzio. Schlothauer got ahead to Frick on the breakaway. Steve Frick up the right side. He shoots. It's wide. Rebound comes out to Tobin. Tobin will wait. Let some things develop. Kia takes it away from Tobin. He shoots. Saved by Garcia. Kia took that ball away from Don Tobin. Fired the shot himself. Garcia comes up with a save. Ahead comes to Denunzio. Denunzio can't control. Kondrich got a piece of that. Scarelli heads it back, and Kaham has it midfield, right side for Toledo. 3.45 left in the third quarter. Denunzio working left side, trying to get around Kondrich, and they take it down in the corner. He turns back to the net, still working against Kondrich, and he goes down, and Tomo will get whistled for the trip. That's the second foul on Canton. Toledo has three fouls, and we have 3.34 to play in the third quarter. Scarelli to put the ball in play. And they get it out. It's Salguero out front. Now on the right point to Kaham. Kaham to Scarelli. Back to the net at the red line. Scarelli turns. Backing up against Don Tobin. Scarelli, a couple of steps in. Kia comes over to help, and they drop it back to Kaham. Long lead in the corner. Kondrich will win the race with Denunzio. Tries to head it out, but Denunzio gets it back for Toledo. Deflected by Tomo again. Denunzio, Kramer over to double team. And now Kia takes it away. Here come the invaders two on two. Kia got the ball a little bit too far ahead of him. Christensen knocked it away, but Kondrich controls for Kent. Now Tobin left side at midfield. Back to Kondrich. Under three minutes, 2.56 in the quarter. Kramer tried to get it to Kondrich, didn't get enough on the pass, and it's deflected into the goalkeeper, Garcia. Outlet on the right side to Salguero. Midfield to Scarelli. Back at the red line to Denunzio. Now Scarelli across the Canton red line, right side on Tobin. Toby picked it away. Scarelli got it back. Christensen feeds Salguero back to the net out front. Centering pass, nobody there but Tobin. Scarelli knocks it away. Kaham with a shot, blocked by Pisano. And the outlet midfield on the left side to Kia. Kia lets Araya clear by and leaves it for Tobin at the Canton red line. Now right side to Pisano. 2.20 to go in the quarter. Pisano ahead to Trevor Dawkins. Dawkins, red line right side, back to Swanner. Swanner, out of the penalty area, sends it ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy trying to steer it, knocked away by Araya, and sends it in the goal area, taken by Garcia. Outlet comes up the left side to Christensen. Christensen for Jackson, ball knocked away by Pikasinski. Araya can't control. Kramer got it for Canton, off the boards for Schlothauer. Schlothauer's pass for Rudy is picked away by Jackson. Jackson for Toledo, a minute 45 in the quarter. Dumps it in the corner. Schlothauer tried to clear. Can't do it. Jackson got it back. Sends it up in the air and out of play. That was deflected by a Canton player, and Toledo will kick it in with a minute 37 to play in the third quarter. Canton six and Toledo two. Invaders have scored two unanswered goals in this quarter, one by Tobin, one by Pisano. Bob, if you can let me jump in here very quickly. Uh, just moments ago, Wyndham scored the touchdown, but they missed the PAT on a fumbled uh, uh, snap. 
It is still 14 to 13, St. Thomas leading Wyndham with uh, seven minutes to go in the ball game. 14 to 13, St. Thomas on top. Thank you, Lynn. And Toledo with the ball, and it's dumped back out to midfield where Mazer flags it down there. Mazer sends it long, and it hits off the boards. Jackson can't get it. Schlothauer heads it up in the air, lands at the feet of Jackson. Dawkins steps in front of him and knocks it away. Here come the invaders. Dawkins with a three-on-two attack ahead for Pikazinski. Pikazinski had it knocked away. The keeper, Garcia, out of the net and able to clear it ahead to Jackson. Mark Jackson, long lead. Looking for Araya. Araya in the Canton end right side. Kramer and team a double team. And Araya throws an elbow into Art Kramer. And that will be the fourth foul on Toledo with a minute one to go in the third quarter. Schlothauer sends it ahead for Trevor Dawkins. Under a minute, 56 seconds to play in period, period number three. Schlothauer against McCargo. Drops it back in the goal area for Swanner. Jamie will come out with it. Swanner outside the arc, out to the red line. Swanner sends it forward. Yaha knocked it away from Kramer. And uh, Araya with it for Toledo. Araya, red line, right side, out in front of the arc. Schlothauer knocked it away. McCargo feeds Araya. He's open. He shoots. He scores. Araya will get the goal, and McCargo will pick up the assist. And Toledo narrows the gap to 6-3. to three. Time of the goal, 14-26 of the third period. Araya picks up his first goal of the season. McCargo, his first assist of the year. And the score is Canton 6 and Toledo 3 with 34 seconds left in the uh, third quarter. We're going to get this radio to receive right here sometime tonight. Static drives you nuts, doesn't it? Our regular football stat man, Tom Hammond, up here helping with the spotting tonight. We appreciate the assistance, as always. Tom has coached a little soccer in his time. Steve Frick with the ball for Canton off the kickoff. Back to Pisano at midfield. 24 seconds in the third quarter. Pisano ahead to Tobin. Back to the net at the red line to Frick to Oscar. 17 seconds in the period. And back in their own end to Swanner. With a three-goal lead, they may not try to do much here. 10 seconds in the period. Swanner still got the ball at the red line. Scarelli comes up to confront him. Jamie crosses, sends it long, and Kia almost put that in. Clock stops with two seconds as Kia knocked it out of play. Swanner was looking for an assist, and he found Kia open as Christensen had sloughed off with time running out. And Garcia, rather grateful, I think, that Kia got under that a little bit too much and put it up high. Okay. Six to three, Canton. Two seconds to go in the period. It'll be a goal kick for Toledo. And with two seconds, there really isn't a whole lot that they can do here, and they will just let the clock... Now, wait a minute. What are we doing? Oh, they're going to give it to Canton. Or are they? Yes, they are, with one second left. Tobin will put it in play from the corner, right side. They'll have time for a pass and a quick shot. Now, I think the invaders are saying that that other second shouldn't have run off the clock. And I believe the referee is going to agree with them on that. Let's see. They say three seconds? Is that what he says? Okay. They feed. Pisano shoots, and that's the end of the quarter. Garcia deflected it. It hit off the shoulder of Frick and bounced away. At the end of three, the Canton Invaders six, the Toledo Pride three. leads Wyndham 14-13 in the fourth quarter at Marlington. Tomorrow we have Northwestern at Ohio State in the afternoon on the AM. Tomorrow night, 640 airtime. Uh, McKinley hosting Groveport Madison Division I playoffs. And on the FM at 640, West Branch is at North Canton Hoover in the Division II playoffs. Next Invaders home game one week from tonight, 8.05 kickoff at the Civic Center against Tampa Bay. And we'll hit the air for that one at 7.55. 15 minutes of soccer left here at the Civic Center. Invaders have a three-goal cushion going in. 6-3 lead, and they control the kickoff to start. 
Kia drops it back at midfield. Tom Condrich right side there. Around Scarelli ahead to Tobin midfield circle. He's being hounded by Denunzio. And they drop it back to Oscar Pisano. Now back in the goal area for Swanner. Swanner, long lead, headed away by Kaham. Scarelli for Toledo. Drops it back for Kaham. And Kaham will dump it in the goal area. And Garcia immediately sends it long. And in midfield, knocked away by Pisano. Kia got it. He's being held by Kaham. Gets away from him. And they'll take it back in his own end over to Pisano. Oscar Pisano against Scarelli. Now in the goal area for Swanner. Swanner will go out. Knocks it away from Scarelli. Tobin heads it back. Taken away by Salguero. And a trip call will go against Condrich. Condrich was just standing there. And Salguero kind of tripped over him. The call will go against Canton, though. First foul on either team. In the fourth period, Canton six and Toledo three. Scarelli to put the ball in play, right side. Now he steps away and Kaham will put it in play for Toledo. Kaham, pass blocked by Kia. He just kind of puts his arms up and looks at Klaus DeBoer and says, hey, what am I supposed to do? Garcia sends it up in the air and that will hit some young lady on the head in the stands. Mm -hmm. And Baders will kick it in. Tobin will put the ball in play for Canton just outside the Toledo red line. We've played a minute two of the fourth quarter. Kia working back to the net in front of the arc, leaves it for Tobin. Kaham knocked it away, and he'll get called for the handball. As he reached over and got a hand on it, he hit it with his foot and then got it with his hand. Team fouls even at one apiece. Don Tobin will put the ball in play for the Invaders. Canton six, Toledo three. Tobin looking for Kia in the corner. Kaham knocks it away, and it'll go the length of the floor. Swanner will control for Canton. Jamie, red line right side to Pisano. Pisano working against Salguero. Back to Swanner. Jamie Airborne knocked away by Scarelli. Swanner will get whistled for the handball. He was out of the penalty area. That'll be two minutes. So the invaders make the mistake. I'm not sure Jamie knew where he was. He was out of the penalty area and got a hand on it. No doubt about the call. And that will give Toledo power play opportunity. Their second of the night. They failed on the first one. The Invaders are two for two. Time of the penalty is 123 of the fourth quarter. Swanner, two-minute handball. This will not be a penalty kick because it was outside the box. Scarelli will put the ball in play. Invader penalty killers are in. Kramer, Frick, Antonio, and Tima. A power play unit. Scarelli, Denunzio, Salguero, Kaham and uh, Mazur. And the Invaders have two minutes of penalty to kill off. Scarelli to put it in play. Denunzio with a shot, no. Kaham gets the rebound and he knocked it in the cheap seats. That took four seconds off the penalty. What's the matter, cheap seats? Is that where you usually sit? I can't afford to. <laughs> Okay. Goal kick for Canton. Tima dumps it in. Swanner. Outlet to Tima. Little long, and Timmy able to get it around uh, Denunzio. Scarelli hit Frick in the face. Frick knocked the ball away, and Kaham sends it long for Denunzio. Denunzio off the left side. Shot blocked by Tima. Goes between. Denunzio got it again. Antonio blocked it, and uh, Powers with a shot and a save by Swanner. They fight for it up in front. Salguero finally gets it. He shoots, hit the post on the left side. They feed, blocked by Antonio. Tima tries to clear, and Frick got it away from Kaham. Frick trying to bounce it off the boards, still trying to get it around Kaham, and now he takes it around Salguero. Frick still with the ball for Canton, and tried to get it ahead to Kramer, who had broken behind Scarelli, but Scarelli got a foot in the ball. Minute five left in the penalty. Shot wide. And the rebound will be taken by Art Kramer. And Kramer will dump it back in his own end and lost it to Denunzio. Now Scarelli, 55 seconds of the penalty. Powers with a shot, knocked it up into the crowd. And that'll be a goal kick for Canton with 53 seconds left of the penalty and 12.30 left in the game. Canton by three, six to three. Toledo really needs to score on this power play to get back in the game to cut it to two. They are down by three. And if they don't score here, they're going to have wasted an awful lot of time and a good opportunity. Swanner, long outlet midfield for Steve Frick. Frick working against Scarelli down at the red line. Tries to get it to Kramer, does. Left side, Kramer, shot off the boards. Kaham just did get to that ball. Artie tried to pass it to himself off the boards. And Kaham just did get to it. Here comes Ted Powers. 
former Kalamazoo kangaroo. In the corner, Salguero centering pass, knocked away by Swanner. And Powers can't get it. Scarelli's got it at the red line. 22 seconds left in the Toledo power play. Left side, Denunzio. Denunzio centering pass. Good save by Swanner off the point blank shot from Powers. Swanner got it, pinned it between his legs, and a tripping call will go against Toledo. Send it the other way in Canton's favor with 11 seconds left in the penalty. What a gem by Jamie Swanner in the invader net. That's why he was chosen to the U.S. Olympic team in 84. Long outlet, and Scarelli's going to get whistled for throwing an elbow into Kramer. And that's the third foul on Toledo, and Hardy's a little bit upset, I think. And I frankly don't blame him. Four seconds left in the penalty. Scarelli, who uh, was a good complainer when he was with Columbus, is uh, doing a little bit of it again now. And they will take it out to the red line. <laughs> and Kramer is still jawing about that. Out in front of the net, Scarelli's got it. Watch for something between those two. They're still talking to each other out there. The penalty's over. Pisano's out of the box. And you're going to get two minutes on both of them. Scarelli and Kramer pushing each other, and they're going to put both of them in the box for two minutes. Joe Rudy was watching them. They were both exchanging things, and they both go off. Time of the penalties will be 3.30, so they'll play four on four. Kramer and Scarelli both go off. I would imagine for unsportsmanlike conduct. <laughs> well, it hasn't taken long for the first uh, friendship to develop this season, has it? <laughs> That's not a bad move, really. Yeah, they're both going to get on sportsmanlike conducts. Kramer and Scarelli both get on sportsmanlike conducts at 3.30, so we'll play four on four for two minutes. The invaders will put Rudy Pikasinski, Steve Frick, Tim Tima, and Walt Schlotthauer on the floor. Carlos Salguero, Mark Christensen, Bob Denunzio, and Michael Kaham on the floor for Toledo. Garcia sends it long. It's headed away by Schlotthauer, and Pikasinski's got it. Pikasinski looking for Steve Frick. Can't get him as Kaham plays good D for Toledo. And they send it back to the Canton Red Line. Tim Tima with it. Minute 43 in the twin penalties. Long lead for Frick. Nobody marking him left side. Frick trying to get around, and the ball just deflected, and Kaham sends it ahead for Denunzio. Tima directing traffic. Denunzio across the Canton Red Line. Left side shoots wide. Rebound comes out behind the Toledo attackers and they send it ahead to Pikasinski. Minute 24 in the double penalties. Pikasinski to Tima. Tima for Frick. Frick working against uh, Christensen and bounces it off the sideboards to Tima at midfield. Minute 12 in the penalties. Ahead for Frick, back to the net. Frick trying to get around Christensen, does, shoots and hit it into the stage. That'll be a goal kick for Toledo with 10.37 left in the game and a minute seven left in the twin penalties to Kramer and Scarelli. Probably a good call calling both of them on that because they were both uh, doing a little bit of work. Lynn, do we have anything else on the St. Thomas uh, uh, Wyndham game? Lynn McDowell, do we have any update on the St. Thomas? Yeah, we class? sure do, Bob. With 26 seconds left in the ball game, Wyndham from the 20 yard line popped a field goal. They have won the ball game over St. Thomas tonight by a score of 16 to 14. Once again, uh, St. Thomas going down two defeat tonight, yep. 16 to 14. Give us a final when it's over, just to make sure. The game is over. Oh, it is Bob, over. Yeah, it is, it is finished. It is it's over. That is a final. Just okay. wrapped. Wyndham defeats St. Thomas, 16-14. 45 seconds left in the twin penalties here. Jackson has the ball for Toledo, left side at midfield. Into the Canton red line, working on Tima, around Tima, shot blocked by Tima. And Schlotthauer knocks it away from Salguero. Christensen keeps it in at the red line, feeds left side. Mazur fires, it's wide, and Swanner grabs it and holds on. And Tima and Mazur collide, and you get a kick on uh, Mazur. That'll be the fourth foul on Toledo as he kind of hacked Tima in the back of the leg. Tima sends it ahead for Schlotthauer. 22 seconds left in the two penalties. Now Tima. So St. Thomas knocked out of the playoffs. And Tima sends it out of play, and Toledo will put it in with 18 seconds left in the four-on-four -four situation. 9.48 left in the game. 
So Wyndham knocks St. Thomas Aquinas out of the playoffs. We have two teams left. They're both in action tomorrow night, McKinley and Hoover. You can hear both games on 1480 AM and 94 FM. Here with WHBC, Canton, Ohio, radio home of the Invaders. Jackson out front, right side of the square, working against uh, Condrich. They drop it back to Mazur, and Mazur merrily knocks it out of play, and the Invaders will put it back in with 10 seconds left in the two penalties. Interesting to see. Uh, I imagine Kramer and Scarelli have had time to simmer down by now. We'll see. Good thing this isn't hockey. Swanner will pick it up. Four seconds left in the double penalties. Long lead for Rudy. Rudy working against Yaha. Sends it ahead for Kramer, who's out of the box now. The penalties are over. Kramer with a shot. Randy Pikasinski couldn't get the rebound. The shot was saved by Garcia and hit him in the face. And Toledo will kick it in with 9.21 left in the game. So neither team able to do anything during the four-on-four. Four. Canton six, Toledo three. Fourth period has been scoreless so far. Six different players have scored for Canton tonight. Kia, Schlothauer, Kramer, Rudy Pikasinski, Tobin, and Pisano. Salguero, Scarelli, and Araya have scored for Toledo. Garcia, long outlet for Yaha, who dumps it right back to Garcia. I don't think he wanted it to in particular. He tries to get it ahead to Araya, does, back to Yaha. Yaha working on Rudy. Down in the corner for Jackson. Jackson for Yaha, can't control. Kia's got it for Canton. Randy Pikasinski in playing midfield now on the line with Kia and Rudy. So you got the Pikasinski brothers and Kia. Long lead for Randy. Randy overran the ball. And McCargo controls for Toledo. Lead pass ahead for Mazer. Mazer through the midfield circle. It leads it on the left side for Araya. Shot no. And the rebound is knocked in by Mazer. And Mazer plowed over the top of uh, Pisano. They get up and they're both okay. Goal kick for the Invaders with 8.44 left in the ballgame. Invaders have uh, switched around lines a little bit tonight. Of course, they've had to do some of that because of the injury to Ken Lola. And we wish Kenny a speedy recovery. Pisano sends it ahead for Kia. Kia drops it back for Condrich at the Canton red line. Tomo ahead for Rudy. Rudy working on Yaha midfield. They'll drop it back to Pisano again. Pisano. Airborne, and that will stay in play off the sideboards for Kia, and then it hit the top of the board and went over the glass and went out of play. And they'll kick it in for Toledo. Wyndham has defeated St. Thomas Aquinas in Division IV football, 16 to 14. Tomorrow night, McKinley hosts Grove Fort Madison, Hoover hosts West Branch, the McKinley game on the AM, the Hoover game on the FM. Both of them airtime at 640. Ohio State will host Northwestern tomorrow afternoon. That one here on 1480. Long ball for Salguera off the back of his heel for an open Christensen. Condrich reacts well and got over in time to block the shot. Christensen drops it back to Les Scarelli. Scarelli, the former Columbus Capital, inside the red line working on Randy. And back over to Salguero. Now Kaham. Pisano heads it out. Rudy sends it ahead for Kia. Kia on the run up the right side trying to get around Kaham. Kaham's got the angle. Kia steps around. Scarelli over to double team. Kia able to back it up to midfield, though. And 7.49 left in the game. They'll back it up in their own end, and Swanner will call timeout. The Invaders will call time with 7.45 left in the game. We'll take a break. Canton 6, Toledo 3. You can get Don't forget the game the following tonight's game. Once again, in the front of the building, you can get your picture tonight with Canton. Canton led 1-0 at the end of one quarter, 4-2 at the half, and 6-3 at the end of three, and it's still 6-3. And we've played uh, 15 seconds under half of the third of the fourth quarter. Swanner with the ball in the goal area, a long outlet midfield, bounces to Kia at the Toledo red line, back to Pisano. Oscar in the midfield circle against Salguero, and Salguero blocks his pass. Oscar chases it back in the Canton end and spins around Salguero. And he'll come straight up the middle of the floor. Pisano straight up the floor. Nobody picks him up. He shoots, and it's blocked by Christensen as much by accident as anything else, I think. And here comes Toledo on the counterattack. Scarelli working against Kia. Scarelli turns Tobin on the double team, took the ball away. They fight for it. Scarelli goes down, and Tobin comes away with the ball. Tobin feeds to Condrich right side. Seven minutes left in the game. 
Kondrich will back it up in the goal area. Swanner scoops it up there. Jamie started to throw it right. Now puts it on the floor and kicks it out to the right side to Kondrich. Kondrich ahead for Rudy. That ball is a little bit hard for Rudy to handle. Uh, he's able to get around Denunzio. Gets around Kaham. Ahead to Steve Frick. Frick coming up the middle of the floor to the red line. Looking for Rudy. Rudy shoots. No. Rebound controlled by Garcia. Bobbled it off the boards a time or two, but eventually found the handle. Outlet on the left side to Scarelli. Scarelli working against Frick. Last turn. Spins midfield. Dump it over to Christensen at the red line. Christensen. Seguro. Shot in the middle. Seguro shot no. Pisano got a piece from behind. But you've got a whistle. Oscar and uh, Seguro exchange a few words, but it'll be a goal kick for Canton. Oscar and Seguro still exchanging a few words. <laughs> and Seguro, I think, wisely backing away from that. Oscar's still talking to him. 6-16 left in the game. Canton 6, Toledo 3. And they'll both switch lines. Trevor Dawkins back in. Haven't seen him in a little bit. Four team fouls on Toledo. One on Canton in the period. Dawkins, Schlotthauer, Tima, Pikasinski, and Kramer for Canton. Yaha, Mazur, Cargo, Araya, and Jackson for Toledo. Swanner with the ball in the goal area. Long outlet, midfield left side for Kramer. Kramer trying to get around Yaha, and a dangerous play will be called on Artie. Artie tried to control the ball, didn't know Dragon was there. That's the second foul on Canton. And Yaha will put the ball in play for the Toledo Pride. Yaha ahead for McCargo. McCargo to Mazer. Mazer left side at midfield, working against Rudy. Off the boards, and uh, Araya just did get there, and he's got to back up at midfield. Now ahead to an open Mazer. Mazer right side, wants to shoot, and he does. Didn't get much on it. They try to get it to McCargo. One pass too many out front, and they back it up, and Christensen al almost put that one in the catwalk upstairs. He put that above the last row of section 10, and that'll be a goal kick for Kenton. Yeah, that's where you usually that's sit, Tom. Sit. That's where you sit. Okay. 5.43 to play in the game. Canton 6, Toledo 3. Next broadcast in the next Invader game at home. Next Friday night, a week from tonight. 8.05 kickoff against the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Swanner, long lead. Yaha cut in front of Kramer to take the pass away. And they get it over to uh, McCargo. And the pass in blocked by Tima. And Tima sends it up into the roof. And they'll put it in play from the red line. Toledo will. 5.24 to play. Canton 6, Toledo 3. No scoring in the fourth quarter. Mazur over to Jackson on the left side. Mazur trying to get around Rudy. Rudy picked it away. Rudy trying to get around Mazur. Gets around him. Gets around Jackson on the run. Mazur beats it back, though, and knocks it in the goal area. And you'll get a foul called against Rudy. That's the third on Canton. A little frustrated after he got around Mazur and then had it taken back again. Mazur, lead ball knocked away by Schlotthauer, and they'll go up against the boards. Rudy tried to get it away, but Mazur clears it. Mazur midfield, bad, bad dribble took away, taken away by Tima, and Schlotthauer controls for Canton, back to Trevor Dawkins. Dawkins trying to move around Jackson, can't do it. Had the ball knocked away in a sliding play by Araya. Araya to Jackson, Jackson out front, and knocked it out of play. Goal kick Canton with 4.48 left in the game. Now you've got to think that they may be about ready to pull Garcia if Klaus DeBoer elects to do that three goals down. The danger you have, of course, is you've given up an empty net and then you get blown out, and he may not want to take that chance with this young team. We'll see. May not do it three goals down. I don't know. If, if you're going to do it, you're getting very close to the time where you better start thinking about it. Not sure who their sixth attacker would be. We haven't seen them play. They are 0-2 on the year. Toledo is. The Invaders... Looking to go 1-0. This is their opener. Tom Kondrich with it in the Canton end. Now back in the penalty area to Jamie Swanner. Swanner will pick it up. And looking long for Steve Frick. Frick trying to get around Christensen in the corner. Christensen able to ride him away from the ball, but he got whistled for the foul. That's five on Toledo. And one more would put Toledo in the shorthanded situation again. They're already down by three goals. Canton will kick it in from the left corner. Don Tobin will do the honors. Set play time. The history over the past two years has been the Invaders are 
very dangerous on this type of play. Let's see what they do here, especially when Tobin takes the corner kick to Condridge. Condridge fires. Frick knocked down. Kia with a shot blocked by Kahan. And Kia steals it back away from Denunzio. And out on the right point area to Pisano. Pisano trying to get around Scarelli and Denunzio. Now Kia, now Tobin at midfield. And back at the Canton red line. Condridge lets it go, and Swanner has it. Outlet left side to Tomo. 4-10 left in the game. Condridge ahead, pass blocked by Denunzio, but Frick got it back for the Invaders. Fricky always hustling when he's out there, and uh, Pisano got it. Now to Frick, Canton red line. Back to Pisano in the Canton end. The other thing the Invaders are doing here, until a Toledo can get the ball in there and call the timeout, they can't get a sixth attacker on. Kia tried to dump it over to, to, to Tobin. Now he does. They got two on one. Tobin and Frick. Tobin's pass is a little behind Fricky, and he has to take it in the corner now out on the point to Condridge. 340 in the game. Condridge fires, and it hits the glass and goes out of play. Goal kick Toledo with 338 remaining. They'll switch off here. Now let's see uh, what they do with Garcia. And I don't know if Klaus DeBoer will go to the sixth attacker in this situation. This team does not look like it's gelled well enough together yet. They, I think they might be more apt to give up an empty net goal than anything else. But we'll see. 338 left. Canton six. Toledo three. Invaders trying to go 1-0. Next week they will meet Tampa Bay. The Rowdies are undefeated right now. 2-0. They have wins over Memphis and Louisville. Garcia will send it long. And Tima knocks it away from McCargo, but they get it back to McCargo on the feed from Jackson. Blocked by Dawkins. McCargo, Jackson shot wide to the right side. And the rebound controlled. And here come the invaders. Schlotthauer gets it ahead to Kramer. Kramer to Rudy. They're two on one. Rudy shoots. Good play by Garcia on the save. Yaha for Toledo. Working on Kramer. And they send it out front to Mazur. Then no indication. The pass intercepted by Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer winds and fires. No. Pikasinski scores. It's over. Pikasinski from Schlotthauer. And the Invaders lead 7 to 3. Time of the goal, 11.55. Rudy P. gets his second goal of the night. And Schlotthauer gets his second assist. He has also scored a goal. The Invaders lead 7-3. Mazur sends it ahead for Toledo. And they knock it in the cheap seats again. Araya. Just set it high. Another goal kick for the Invaders. Under three minutes now. 2.57 left. The Invaders will go 1-0. They will run their home field winning streak to 22 in a row. And Toledo will fall to 0-3. They will have a chance to make amends at home tomorrow night. Toledo hosts Memphis tomorrow evening up at the Toledo Sports Arena. Swanner in the penalty area. And the pride... Don't have a lot of it right now. Long lead for Kramer. Kramer got behind Yaha, but Garcia got to the ball and will clear it long to midfield. Schlotthauer couldn't hit it up as he had uh, McCardle. Uh, McCargo got a piece of it. Back for Yaha. It's behind him. He's got to chase it back at the red line. 2.27 left in the game. Yaha. Long lead for Jackson in the corner. Heads it out. Pikasinski knocks it away, and it's controlled by Jamie Swanner. Tima ahead for Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer unmarked up the left side. He shoots. He just missed it wide to the right. And the rebound comes out to McCargo. McCargo dumps it in the goal area. Got Toledo with a lot of good individual skills, but their teamwork has just not been there. Not a whole lot of cohesiveness at all. And they have been a little conservative on offense, but I think part of that is by design. You'll have a three-line violation. Would you believe that's the first one we've had all night? on Canton as Swanner sent it too long. A minute 50 left in the game. Invaders have got it in the bag. They lead by four. Centering ball knocked away by Frick. Headed in and Tima knocked that one away off the feed by uh, Mazur. Mazur and Pikasinski fight for it up against the right side boards. Bad pass taken away by Trevor Dawkins. Dawkins drops it back to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer over to Jamie Swanner. 
Swanner. Sends it ahead for Steve Frick. Frick into the Toledo end. Around Christensen. He's taken down Christensen. Oh, the ref started to go for the two-minute card and didn't pull it. That's the sixth foul anyway. So it'll be a two-minute penalty. He started to pull the two-minute card and then didn't, but it's a two-minute foul anyway because of six fouls. So the Invaders will have yet another power play opportunity. Time of this penalty, if you're scoring with us at home, is 13.40 of the fourth quarter. It's the fifth penalty on Toledo tonight. Invaders are two for two on power play opportunities. The other two penalties, you might be wondering, one was the penalty kick, so you don't get a power play on that. Tobin scored. The other one was a double penalty when Scarelli and Kramer both went off after getting into a pushing match. So the Invaders on the power play with a minute 20 left in the game trying to pad a four-goal lead. They lead 7-3. to three. Toledo had too many men on the floor. Now they have to take one out. Mazur comes out. Yaha will serve the penalty. And Schlotthauer to put the ball in play for the Canton Invaders. Walter back at the red line to Donnie Tobin. Tobin right side of the point to Pisano. Back to Tobin. Minute 16 in the game. Schlotthauer left side. Tobin in the middle. Toby a couple of steps up. Right side to Pisano. Right back to Tobin on one touch. Toby left side to Walter. And right back to Tobin. Minute four left in the game. Tobin a couple of steps in. Left side to Walter. And right back to Don Tobin. Tobin, 56 seconds left in the game. They may just do this and run the clock out. Tobin, left side, Schlotthauer. This time he'll shoot, and Garcia comes up with a save up against the right post. Garcia, long lead, and Tobin flags that down. 40 seconds left. And the Invaders on the attack of the power play. They lead 7-3. A lot of smiles on the Canton bench on the far side. Not money on this side. Schlotthauer, back to Tobin. Tobin. Left side, Walter. He'll let it go. Rebound comes outside, and Pisano gets it. 23 seconds left in the game. Don Tobin. Red line, 20 seconds. Toby, left side, Walter again. He shoots. Save and a kick save and a beauty by Garcia. 12 seconds left in the game. Tobin, left side. Celebration song comes on. Seven seconds to play. Pisano fires, and Garcia knocks it into the stage. With four seconds left, the Invaders will have a corner kick. And they're going to win it. They will win it 7-3. to three. And they want a little bit of time added. Don Tobin, the offensive player of the game. Tim Tima, the defensive player of the game tonight. And I think very good selections. Pisano with a shot. Two seconds. One. It's over. the Canton Invaders win their opener by a final count of 7-3 to three against the Toledo Pride. We'll be back in one minute. United Bank's personal reserve cash account gives you an extra cushion of available cash for special vacations, education expenses, even a new car. Personal reserve cash is a line of credit which may be secured by the equity in your home. Once you qualify, you'll receive a special PRC checkbook. Then you may write a check for any amount up to your personal line of credit, anytime for any purpose. Personal reserve cash from United Bank. Maybe it would make your holidays extra special. Keep track of all your important activities and relive some Canton history with the 1987 Canton Landmarks calendar from the Canton Preservation Society. Robert Maurer, artist.